Getting out of debt usually ranks in the top three most popular New Year's resolutions every year, and it's for good reason. Debt, and especially student loan debt, is stressful and it can slow you down from reaching other financial goals like buying a home or saving for retirement. In this video, we'll show you five ways to make this the year that you pay off student loan debt. Let's get into it. Refinancing your student loans can lower your interest rate, which will save you money overall and help you pay off your loans faster. Refinancing a student loan means you replace your existing federal or private loans with a new private loan. This new loan will have a new interest rate, loan term, lender and monthly payment, and it will no longer offer any federal loan benefits. If your new interest rate is lower than your old interest rate, you'll end up saving money when paying off your student loans. Another advantage is that streamlining all of your loans into one monthly payment makes it easier to manage and you're less likely to make a late payment since you only have one to keep track of. Just just keep in mind that refinancing federal loans means that you'll lose certain benefits like income-based repayment plans, any federal loan forgiveness, options to pause payments, and more. Before you apply, check your credit report to address any errors. If you can, pay down any other high interest debt like credit cards. Also, a co-signer with excellent credit can help you secure a better interest rate, but there are risks involved for them. We have a student loan refinance calculator on our website to estimate how much you can lower your total monthly loan payments by refinancing your student loans. Check it out in the link in the description. Making a budget and cutting down expenses can help you pay down your debt. Creating a monthly budget is going to give you control of your money. You'll know how much is coming and how much you're spending. This will help you determine how much extra you can pay towards your student loans every month. Quicken is a helpful budgeting software that allows you to connect your accounts and automatically categorize spending. You can create a personalized budget and track and manage your spending. There's a link in the description where you can try out Quicken. Once you've made your budget, you can see which expenses you could cut to be able to apply more money towards your student loan debt. Go through each expense and figure out a way that you could decrease it. Consider cutting some subscriptions you don't use often or getting rid of your monthly gym membership. Even if you don't want to drop a service completely, try asking for a discount. Find a better monthly rate for your cell phone, or you can see if your employer would foot the bill. Lower what you're spending on gas by carpooling to work or walking or biking whenever you can. Big moves like moving to a cheaper apartment, moving back in with your parents, and finding a better paying job are going to yield the most money to apply to your student loan debt. Also, moving to a cheaper area can free up hundreds or thousands of dollars every month. The average rent in Manhattan is around $4,000 per month, but it's only around $800 in Indianapolis. If you live in a walkable city and could use public transportation, sell your car to save $8,000 per year. Some cities will even help you pay your student loans if you move there, and some companies offer student loan assistance as well. There are jobs that also offer student loan forgiveness if you meet a set of requirements. There are two ways to increase your income so you can pay off your student loans faster. First, with your regular job, try to ask for a raise or work overtime to give your paycheck a boost, or you can find a job with a higher salary. Another way to earn extra money to pay off student loans is by getting a side gig like a flexible part-time job, tutoring, walking dogs, or house sitting. With remote working becoming more common, there are tons of opportunities to earn some extra money at home, like answering support tickets, becoming a virtual assistant, transcribing audio, and more. We made a list of 34 ways you can make money from home, which we linked to in the description. If you're in the market for a new job, find one that offers student loan repayment as an incentive. Student loan assistance is a relatively new employer benefit, mostly offered at major companies like Fidelity and PricewaterhouseCoopers. There are two ways employers provide student loan assistance. The first way is a direct payment to the employee's lender every month for an unlimited or fixed period of time. The second way is a bit more complicated. You as the employee would pay a certain percentage of your income toward your student loans with the company matching some or all of that amount with a contribution to your 401k. Every company with a student loan assistance program can decide how much to pay, if there are limits, and when an employee is eligible. 
A company may require you to work there for a certain period of time before qualifying. This is typically six months or a year. Many companies have a lifetime cap on student loan assistance, often around $10,000. Some will only contribute to their employees' student loan payments if the employee is making payments. This means the company won't provide any student loan assistance if the loans are in deferment or forbearance. Others will offer matching payments up to a certain amount. This is similar to how employees must contribute to their 401k before their employer will chip in. Here's an example. SoFi, a San Francisco-based fintech company, offers its employees $200 a month in student loan benefits. Employees only need to work there for one month before they become eligible, and it applies to both federal and private loans. The $200 is paid directly to the employee's loan provider. SoFi employees can receive loan assistance until the debt is completely repaid even if they owe six figures or more. Some companies may ask the employee to choose between student loan assistance and another benefit like matching 401k contributions. If this is the case, look at your student loan's interest rate. If it's below 6%, then opt for 401k contributions. If you have high interest loans, go with the loan assistance program. There are many apps that can help graduates pay off student loans faster. Some help you manage and save your money, while others help you earn money and get cash back. Here are a few of our favorites that can help you get out of student loan debt. The first one is Changed. Every time you make a purchase, Changed rounds it up to the next dollar and that money goes towards your student loan. Say you pay $3.50 for a coffee, the remaining $0.50 cents automatically goes into your Changed account and the money is deposited once you hit your chosen threshold, which can be as low as $5. The next one is Quicken, which we spoke about earlier. It's a budgeting software that helps you track your spending and it automatically categorizes your spending so you know where your money's going. And then there's Survey Junkie, which is an app where you earn points by completing surveys, which you can later redeem for cash on PayPal, e-gift cards, or direct bank transfer. While you won't get rich, Survey Junkie is a legitimate money-making platform where you can earn extra cash on the side and chip away at your student loan. I'll have a link for all of those apps in the description. And that's it! Those are the five ways you can pay off your student loans fast so you can feel stress-free and start working on your other financial goals. Subscribe to this channel to get more videos all about saving for college and student loans. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.